Are we on? Are we on? Is it doing? Hello all and welcome to today's Torah portion. As you see, my camera, well, it doesn't seem to want to be working today. It works, sort of. Um, yeah, but it, it don't like me, so, yeah. Uh, today's read is going to be 2 Samuel 6, 1 through 7, 17, Ezekiel 36, 16 through 38. But before I get started, let's say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Donald, new king of the universe, who sanctifies us with his commandments, commanded us and grossed us with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, when you see the words of your Torah in our mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel, may we know our spring, the offspring of your people, the house, Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you. Adonai, the new king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you, keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to you, and you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Okay, yeah. Uh, did I say what we was going to be reading today? <laughs> I'm all over the place. Our first read is going to be 2 Samuel 6, 1 through 7, 17. David again gathered all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000, and David arose and went with all the people who were with him from Baal, Judah, to bring up from there the Ark of Elohim, which is called by the name of Yahweh of hosts, who sits enthroned on the cherubim. And they carried the Ark of Elohim on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab which was on the hill, and Uzzah and oh, Ahio. Mm. The sons of Abinadab were driving the new cart with the Ark of Elohim, and Ahio went before the Ark. And David and all the house of Israel were celebrating before Yahweh with songs and lyres and harps and tambourines and castanets and cymbals. And when they came to the threshing floor, of Nekon, Uzzah put out his hand to the ark of Elohim and took hold of it, from the uh, for the oxen stumbled, and the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Uzzah, and Elohim struck him down there because of his error, and he died there beside the ark of Elohim, and David was angry because Yahweh had broken out against Uzzah, and that place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of Yahweh that day, and he said, How can the ark of Yahweh come to me? So David was not willing to take the ark of Yahweh into the city of David, but David took it aside to the house of Abed-Edom, the Gittite. The Gittite. And the ark of Yahweh remained in the house of Abed-Edom, the Gittite, three months, and Yahweh blessed Abed-Edom and all his household. <coughs> It was told to King David, Yahweh has blessed the household of Abed-Edom and all that belongs to him because the Ark of Elohim. So David went and brought up the Ark of Elohim from the house of Abed-Edom to the city of David with rejoicing. And when those who bore the Ark of Yahweh had gone six steps, he sacrificed an ox and a fattened calf, sorry, and a fattened animal. And David danced before Yahweh with all his might, and David was wearing a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of Yahweh with shouting and with the sound of the horn. As the ark of Yahweh came into the city of David, Michal, the son, sorry, the son, the daughter of Saul, looked out of the window and saw King David leaping and dancing before Yahweh, and she despised him in her heart. And they brought in the ark of Yahweh and set it in its place, inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before Yahweh. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of Yahweh of hosts and distributed, the, distribu distributed among all the people, the whole multitude of Israel, both men and women, a cake of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisin. 
to each one. Then all the people departed each to his house. And David returned to bless his household, but Michaldus, daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How the king of Israel honored himself today, uncovering himself today before the eyes of his servants, females, servants, as one of the vulgar fellows shamelessly uncovers himself. And David said to Michal, It was before Yahweh who chose me above your father and above all his house to appoint me as prince over Israel. The people of Yahweh and I will celebrate before Yahweh, and I will make myself yet more contemptible than this, and I will be abased in your eyes. But by the female servants of whom you have spoken, by them I shall be held in honor. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, had no child to the day of her death. Now when the king lived in the house and Yahweh had given him rest from all his surrounding enemies, the, the king said to Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of Elohim dwells in a tent. And Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that is in your heart, for Yahweh is with you. But that same night the word of Yahweh came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says Yahweh, you, Would you build me a house to dwell in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent for my dwelling. In all places where I have moved with all the people of Israel, did I speak a word with any of the judges of Israel whom I commanded to shepherd my people of Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore, thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from fo following the sheep, that you should be prince over my people Israel, and I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you, and I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, so that they may dwell in their own place <coughs> and be distributed, sorry, disturbed no more. And violent men shall afflict them no more. As formerly, from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel, and I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, Yahweh declares to you that Yahweh will make you a house. When your days are filled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you. Who shall come from your body? And I will establish his kingdom, and he shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. And I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And when he commits iniquity, I will discipline him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of the son of men. But my steadfast love will not depart from him. As I took it from Saul, whom I put away from before you, and your house and your kingdom shall be made sure before me, your throne shall be established forever, in accordance with all these words. And in accordance with all this vision, Nathan spoke to David. Ezekiel 36, 16-38 The word of Yahweh came to me, Son of man. When the house of Israel lived in their own land, they defiled it by their ways and their deeds. Their ways before me were like the uncleanliness of a woman in her menstrual impurity. So I poured out my wrath upon them for the blood that I had shed in the land for their idols which they had defiled it. I scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed throughout the countries. In accordance with their ways and their deeds, I judged them. But when they came to the nations, wherever they came, they profaned my holy name. And that people said of them, These are the people of Yahweh, and yet they had to go out of this land. But I had concern for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations to which they came. Therefore say the house of Israel, Thus says, the Lord Elohim, it is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. And I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you profaned among them. And the nations will know that I, Yahweh, declares the Lord Elohim, 
When through you I vindicate my holiness through their eyes, I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. And from all your idols I will cleanse you. And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I'll put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. You shall dwell in the land that I give to your gave to your fathers. And you shall be my people, and I be your Elohim. And I'll deliver you from all your uncleanliness, and I'll summon the grain and make it abundant and lay no famine upon you. I will make the fruit of the trees increase and the increase in the field abundant that you may never again suffer the disgrace of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were no good, and you will loathe yourselves for the iniquities and your abominations. It is not for your sake that I will act, declares the Lord Elohim. Let that be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your ways, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord Elohim, on the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, I will cause the cities to be inhabited, and waste places shall be rebuilt, and the land that was desolate shall be tilled. Instead of being the desolation that it was in the sight of all who passed by, they will say this land that was desolate has become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and desolate and cities are now fortified and inhabited. Then the nations that are left around you shall know that I am Yahweh. I have rebuilt the ruined places and replanted that which was desolate. I am Yahweh. I have spoken and I will do it. Thus says the Lord Elohim. This I will let you. Sorry. This also I will let the house of Israel ask me to do for them, to increase their people like a flock, like the flock for sacrifices, like the flock at Jerusalem during her appointed feast, so that the waste cities. So shall the waste cities be filled with flocks of people. Then they will know. That I am Yahweh. Blessed art thou, Donor, the King of the Universe, who gives the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Donor, I give her the Torah. Bukata Donor, in Himalach alone. Ashenatan, Lunu, Tredi, Mevai, Shilom, the Tabeti, can you Bukata Donor, and Etina Tara? Well, that is it. Um. I don't know why my camera decided it wasn't going to work today, but uh, I hope to see you guys. Uh, I want some comments and stuff, uh, questions, whatever you want to know, I'll answer. Well, until next time. Hope you all have a, fan a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.